Hi, in the last lesson, I showed you how to download and install Packet Tracer. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the lab exercises that come with this complete CCNA course. First thing you need to do is download the lab exercises. So come to the page here. I'll include the link in the description and then click on download the full lab guide for free. Enter your details and then that will get you this PDF. I'll just click over on the left here on the chapters and you can see that there is a lab exercise for section four and then every section from section 11. The reason that there is not lab exercises for all of the earlier sections is because that's where I cover the foundational material, which is going to lay the groundwork for you to be able to do the hands-on lab exercises coming later. Okay, so first section with a lab exercise is section four. So let's click on that to have a look. And you can see in here on that front page, it gives me a link here to download the lab exercise. So I will click on that and that will take me to this page here. And you can see there's a link there for all of the lab exercises in the book. So I'll click on the first one here for section four, the iOS operating system and that downloads the zip file here and if i have a look in there you see that there is a packet tracer project in there and if i click on my downloads folder you see that that is actually inside a zip file now don't run it from inside the zip file you'll have problems if you do that extract it first so i'm going to right click on the zip file and i'm going to choose to extract here and then I can see I'm running the packet tracer file directly. So I can double click on that. And then that's going to open up the project in packet tracer. And then it's going to ask me to log in. So enter the login details that you downloaded packet tracer with. So I will enter in my email address in there. Click next. And then on the next page, it's going to ask for my password. So I'll enter that and then down at the bottom here, I'm going to tick the checkbox to keep me logged in. So that way Packet Tracer won't keep asking me to log in so much. And then I can click on sign in. And then that is going to open up the Packet Tracer project for me. So I'm going to work with the instructions in the PDF and then go through working in Packet Tracer to complete the instructions here. So you see that it tells me to click on Router 0 and then open up the CLI tab to access the console. So to do that in Packet Tracer, click on Router 0. Now, when you do this, if you don't see the router there, it's probably just not quite in the center of your window. So you can move the scroll bars here at the top and bottom until you find the router. And then click on the router, that will open up this window here, click on the CLI tab and then click inside it and hit enter and that gets you to the command prompt. I can then enter enable here to get to the enable prompt and then start working with the lab. So once you're in there, again, just follow the instructions that are in the PDF. Now, the first couple of sections, so section four and section 11, the lab exercises for those, those are guided walkthroughs. So I tell you exactly the commands to enter and what you should expect to see in the console. That's to get you used to working with the command line. After you've done those first couple of lab exercises, you should be used to working on the Cisco routers and switches. So from section 12, it works a little bit of a different way. And here, rather than telling you exactly the commands to enter, I give you tasks to do. Now, you should know how to complete these tasks because I've already explained it in the earlier videos in that section. So when you're doing the lab exercises, look at the tasks here and complete the tasks. Now, if you do get stuck, there is also an answer key straight after that where I do explain exactly what commands you should enter. But as you're doing the lab exercises, try not to look at the answer key until you've completed all of the tasks. Just do that if you get stuck. 
The other reason to look at the answer key is after you've completed the tasks to verify that you've done it in the correct way. Okay, so that is how to use the lab exercises in Packet Tracer. As you go through the course, watch the videos for each section, and then when you get to the end of the section, complete the lab exercise for that section. Okay, one thing I do want to show you here is that not all commands are supported in Packet Tracer. For example, if I enter the command show run interface F0 slash zero, it tells me that it's got invalid input detected there. That is actually a valid command. It's just not supported in Packet Tracer. So if you ever run into a situation where you're entering a command and you're sure that you're entering the correct command, but you're getting that error message, it's probably just not a supported Packet Tracer command. The other thing to check is that you are at the correct command level as well. I'll talk about that when we get into the course. Okay, so that was everything that I needed to show you here to use the lab exercises included in the course, which cover configuring the devices. If you want to get practice with troubleshooting as well, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp course. It includes an additional 150 pages of troubleshooting lab exercises. And to be able to troubleshoot, you need to have a really deeper understanding of the technologies beyond what you need to configure it. So if you do want to get that deeper understanding, you can enroll in the Gold Bootcamp course. I'll include the link for that in the description. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.